While I was a student, I came up with the idea for Cobra Beer. It came from a, a love of beer, but a complete dislike for fizzy, gassy, harsh, bland, bloating lagers, which I really couldn't stand. So I came up with this idea, why don't I produce a beer, which I'll make in India, and a beer that has the, the refreshment of a lager and the smoothness of an ale and would go well with all food, and in particular with curry and Indian food. That was my idea for Cobra Beer. And we set up, I started working in a friend's house in Fulham on the kitchen table, literally, uh, no exaggeration. It was the summer of 1990 that we actually first brought in the first container of Cobra Beer, brewed in Bangalore, shipped across here to the UK. You have to cross what I call the credibility gap, which is nobody knows you, nobody knows your brand, you have zero credibility. Crossing that credibility gap, why do people finance you, supply you and buy from you when you're in that position of zero credibility? They do that if you have faith, passion, confidence and belief in yourself and in your idea and in your product and your brand, which gives them the faith and confidence to give you a chance. I've been able to, to build a brand and build a business to, to cope with all the ups and downs and uh, having a great team has made all the difference. The word you come across more than anything when you start a business is a very short word, it's no. Do you want my product? No. Will you finance me? No. And you've got to convince people to say yes. And so it's tough from the very beginning, but the worst is when you nearly lose your business. I've nearly lost my business three times. What got us through it, I think every single time, more than anything else, was that one word, integrity. This country has given me the opportunity over the last three decades from coming here as a, as a 19 year old student. And at that time, Britain was a sick man of Europe. At that time, this country had a glass ceiling for somebody who was a foreigner, where you wouldn't get to the top because you were a foreigner. At that time, entrepreneurship had images of Del Boy and secondhand car sales when it was looked down upon. And how this country has now changed a country with opportunity for all, regardless of race, religion, or background. I believe this is a country of aspiration. This is a country of opportunity for everybody. And this is a country now where entrepreneurship is celebrated. So, wow. Thank you.